Boys and girls, today we're going to do a little bit more work with the D syllable, and we're going to talk about O-A, boat O, O-E, toe O, and O-W, snow O. You know, I continue to have these glitches when I'm doing your videos. It takes me longer because this time I did the whole lesson and I had this in my hand and guess what? It turned the video off. So halfway through. So I'm doing it all over just for you. Anyway, so let's talk about, we already know that we have a couple of ways of making the long O sound. We know that we can use O consonant where my blank is, there it is. O consonant E. We can make the long, like if we made it, want to make the word bone, B, O, N. That's the N. Bone. That's one way to make the long O sound. That's the vowel consonant E syllable. We also know that we can just use O all by itself and build the word like the word no, where the long O is at the very end of the word and there's nothing to shut the door, so it becomes an open syllable. Well, today we're going to add on three more ways to build the long O sound. And each one of them kind of has its own set of rules. So let's first just talk about OA. OA. The thing about OA is it must always be in the middle of a word. Now we have all these other options. So for instance, when I build the word boat, b o t b o t is that the only way I can spell that? Well, not really. I could spell it like this too. But you've probably seen the word boat enough times that your brain is telling you that when you build boat, you use an OA. All right, so that's the OA rule. It must be in the middle. Let's build some words that contain OA. And as I've said before, when you have options, write them all down and take a look. All of these are going to have OA in them. I picked these specially, but there will be words that you're not sure, and so you want to use all of your options, including the O consonant E, to build them. Let's build the word groan. Groan, like, oh, if I have to do another lesson, it's gonna, I'm going to groan. Here we go, let's tap it. G, R, O, N. G, R, O, N, groan. My other option would be, where should I put it? Over here, G-R-O-N-E. Don't like that. This is the one. We're not gonna mark every one of these words, but again, they would be marked just like any other D syllable. I would circle the double vowel and call it a D syllable. Okay, so if you don't have your dry erase board or your paper and pencil, make sure you get it because this is the time for you to practice doing this too. Okay, let's build the word float. Tap it, f, l, o, t. Got two options, I'm gonna write them both down. F, l, O, t, float. I like to float in the swimming pool. And I've also got this option. Well, I've already told you it's going to be the OA because that's what we're working with. But I do see, I, that doesn't even look right to me. I don't know about you. Float. Float. Okay. Let's build another OA word. How about the word coach? Coach. K-O-C-H. In soccer, 
you usually have a coach. Now, it could be a C, it could be a K at the beginning. It is a C, K, O, I hear my ch at the end, coach. Check your spelling, I hope you built it correctly. Coach. That one really, there is no other option because putting an E after a CH just doesn't work. So the OA is really my only option for this one, coach. Next, let's build the word soak. Sometimes you like to have a good soak in the bathtub. S -o -k, soak. S -o -k. That's one way. What about this? Hopefully that looks right to you. Soak. Now, these words, just like any other words, if I wanted to make this soaking, I could add a suffix onto the end. When I'd mark it, I'd make sure to put that suffix in the black hole first. This is the D syllable. Soak, soaking. Okay, so you get the idea that OA is always going to be in the middle. What about OE? Well, just like OA is always going to be in the middle, OE is going to always be at the end. T O T O T O. Now, do you know this one? That's not toe, is it? It's two. So putting the O at the end this time changes it. So it's probably why it has an OE at the end. Something to differentiate it from TO2. Okay? Toe. There's a few words that have OE in it. Not a lot, but toe. How about a mother deer? She's called a doe. D O. Let's swap out the T for a D, Do. Sometimes when I'm working in the garden, I use a ho, h, o. I don't know if you even know what a ho is. You probably, I don't know, one of my famous pictures, I don't know if that would be any good, but it's got a long handle and it's got a blade on the end of it like that. Oh, that's terrible, but it's, Similar to that sharp blade that goes down. Ho. Okay, so just like OA is always in the middle, OE is always at the end. And then there's OW. Now we know snow, S O W, can sound like the long O in snow. It can also sound like the ow sound in plow, but today we're just going to work with the O W as in snow. Let's build snow. S N O. S N O. O W, it can be anywhere, it can be at the beginning. Like if I wanted to build own, like I own my home, it can be at the beginning. It can be in the middle, or it can be at the end. And the word snow, it's at the end. Now, I always know it comes as a surprise to some people when I say that W is a vowel. In this case, it is. Just like Y can be a vowel or a consonant, Y, W can also be a vowel or a consonant. We know this is a double vowel, so this has to be a vowel. And W is only a consonant when it makes the W sound, like wet or Wednesday. So in this case, it is a vowel, snow. So I've got other options. Could it be this? 
this. Ugh. Could it be that? You know, if you ever see a snow cone, sometimes they don't put the W in, they just do that. So they change it up. But this is the actual spelling of the word snow. Okay. We've also said that OW can be in the middle, like in the word grown. My children are grown. G R O N. G R O N. Grown. Well, we've got several options there, don't we? We already know that this is grown. It's a homophone. It's different. It means something different. It means to moan and groan. This means it comes from the word grow up, grow. Okay. Could it also be this? G-R-O-N-E. I know that's kind of tiny for you to see, but could it be that? Again, if you're not sure, you would look it up or you would ask a grown-up or somebody that's a master spell checker, it doesn't have to be a grown-up, how to spell grown. So O-W can be at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. So let's build some of those words. Use your dry erase board or your marker. How about if you build the word flow? Flow, sometimes I like to watch the river flow. Tap it, f, l, o. You have several options. You could write all your options down and then you're going to build it. I think I, since I'm doing options, I'm gonna write all of them with my marker this time. Flow, f, l, o, or f, l, o, or f, l, o. I don't like these two. O, W, since that's what we're working with, O, W. But maybe your brain would have already told you that it was the one with the O, W. I hope so. Flow. One more O, W word. Can you build the word show? Sh, O. Sh, O. You know, we're working with O-W, so I'm going to do that. If I use O-E, guess what? I built the word shoe. I built the word shoe, so that's not possible. That's not what I'm looking for. Show could be this, though. Show. S-H-O-W is the correct spelling. Show. Okay, so we've learned the rules about OA, always has to be in the middle. OE, always has to be at the end. OW can be any place, beginning, middle, or end. And just like other types of syllables, this D syllable can be put with other types of syllables to make two syllable words. So let's practice some two syllable words. How about the word below? Clap it, below. Scoop it, below. Let's tap it. B, E, L, O. B, E, B, E, L, O. L, O. Now, do I have options? Sure. It could have been just an O. Oof. It could have been an O-E, or it could have been an O-W. Now, I broke my rule. I said you should always have them at the same time. So let's do this. B-E-L-O, B-E-L-O-E. 
Would it be B-E-L-O-A? No way, because it's not, that wouldn't be in the middle. Okay, so this is the correct spelling. And to mark it, we would scoop it two syllables, B, low. This has a long E, so it's open. And this is the D syllable because it has the O-W, below. Okay, we are certainly not gonna mark every one of these, but I wanted you to see how to mark the two syllable word. Okay, how about this one? How about the word tiptoe? Why don't you try it, tiptoe? Tip toe. Tiptoe. Sometimes I stand on my tiptoes. All right, let's do it together. Tiptoe. 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 First syllable. T I P. These should be getting easier for us to spell. T I P. And then toe. Since it has to do with my toe, I know that it's O E. Toe. Tiptoe. Scoop it two syllables. This one's closed. I love marking closed syllables. This one is the D syllable. Tiptoe. Okay, let's do one more. How about the word charcoal? You try this one all on your own. Charcoal. Then go ahead and mark it. Charcoal. Here's how to spell charcoal. Ch R. Now remember, it couldn't be R by itself because R by itself sounds like R. It has to be have an A with it to sound like R. Char coal. K O. Ooh, I've got options. Could it be this? Hmm. Could it be this? Well, guess what? Because we're working with OA and OE, it is the OA charcoal. Sometimes I have to look at both options before my brain knows charcoal. Charcoal. One last thing that I wanted to mention. Sometimes I have different types, different homophones made from the same sounds. So for instance, the word toe, like my toe on my foot is spelled this way, but I can also spell a word T-O-W. And this means like if your car breaks down, mom or dad might have to call a tow truck. Okay, tow truck. So we've got homophones that sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. Since we have all those different sounds for long, oh, that's one way to do it. This wouldn't be it though, would it? Because that's the word to, like I'm going to go to the store, toe. Okay, so that's the end of our work for now with the D syllable. We still have O-U and O-O and E-W, A-U and A-W to talk about. But our next lesson is going to be on the sixth and final type of syllables, and that's the consonant L-E syllable, because I wanted to make sure you at least had a little bit of experience with that before the school year ended. So we're going to move away from our D syllable and talk about the consonant L-E syllable in our next lesson. Have fun learning today.